Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's video, we are going to share the internet connection from our smartphone, either it is an Android phone or an Apple iPhone, to our OpenWRT router via USB cable. It is more convenient and has a better performance than turning your smartphone into an access phone and then configuring your OpenWRT router at an AP client. It also consumes less CPU power on your phone and at the same time, it can charge your phone via the power provided by the OpenWRT router. And yeah, you can share the internet connection from your phone to the wireless device in your network as well as the wider device like your PC or your NAS and all of them can easily connect it to the internet. And the requirements for this tutorial is that you have a router with the USB port. I just want to show you that the document is based on this article from openwrt.org so I will put this on the video description so that you can check it out. There are two different packet requirements for Android and iOS so you may check it out. It depends on your case. So very first of all, we need to establish an SSH connection to our router and I'm doing it right now. Alright, so 192.168.1.1 and the port is 22 if you haven't changed it. After that, click open. All right, so login at root and type in your password. Okay, I will just put it a little bit bigger. All right, so I am using an Android phone. So this will be the command for my case. The first command will be updating the application database. It will be OBKG update. And before we doing this, make sure that you have a working one connection on your OpenWRT router. And if not, then you can uh, like maybe config your router at an AP client to have a working internet connection so that you can install the required package and driver for the USB connection before we, we start the tutorial. Yep, so let's just update. It will take a while, depends on your speed of the internet and the power of your router. So just be patient. Right, so we have just updated the database and now let's just install the package. Just copy that and then paste in, hit enter. If you are running an iOS device, you need to install these additional packages by just copy it and then paste to the command. Uh, and in my case, I am not using iOS, so I will just skip that. And next, we can either config the network from Lucy or we can config it with the command line. And for demonstration purposes, I will do it with Lucy, right? So let me just log into the router. Before we proceed, let us connect our phone to the router. Okay, I will be doing it right now. Okay, I will just put no data transfer and go to set thing and then search for USB. Data rings and then I will turn it on. Right, good. So it is tethering right now, and I will turn off the option to turn off the hotspot automatically. When the system detects that there will no traffic passing by the hotspot, it will turn it off. So I don't want the system to automatically turn it off and I've just yeah, deactivated it. Good. So now go back to our router and let's go to network interfaces and then add new interface. Here you can put something like yeah, USB. All right. 
VD has to be client and then the interface is will be Ethernet adapter USB 0 click create interface and on this general setting we just leave it there go to advanced setting we still can leave it there and then on the physical setting just leave it there but on the firewall you need to assign it to the one zone click save and apply so as you can see we have two one interfaces one is the connection from the ethernet cable which is 10.0.1.245 and the other one interface from our USB tethering device so I will be removing the ethernet cable that is connecting to the one port let me just go back to the switch and verify that okay so on the switch say that the one have no link so we have only the USB cable connected to our OpenWRT router with X at the one interface and let's just do a speed test We can see that the speed from this 4G is not really good, but yeah, it can still work at a backup solution. Or yeah, when you have like no internet connection, then you can try this work around. And now I will connect back the internet cable to the one port. And we have two one interface up and running. So if you want the system to root all the connection to one specific interface you need to set that one interface with a lower metric and in order to do that you can click on edit and then go to advanced setting and then on the use gateway metric you put it 10 so let's say on my usb device i can put it at something like 40. all right and i should be good to go or you can stop that interface so if you want the internet connection to be routed to your one interface which is uh, your one port on the router you can just stop it and now the open the BRT router should route all the traffic to the primary connection which is your one and let's just do a speed test to verify that Right, so as we can see that the ISP had changed to time and I just run the speed test. So we can see that the speed is different between the Ethernet cable connected to the one port and your USB cable connect your phone to the open the BRT router via USB tethering. So we have just successfully configured the USB tethering between your phone to the OpenWRT router. And what is the application of this? Well, you can set up a multi one as a loss balancing mode or at a failover mode. Let's say you have a working one connection that is currently connected to your one port at a primary connection. And you can set up your USB tethering at the secondary connection. And when the primary connection is down, the system will automatically Route the traffic to your backup connection, which is your USB tethering, and this could yep, save you from the network interruption. And so that's all about the video tutorial for today. And if you want to check out the video on the multi one dot balancing or uh, the multi one failover mode, you can check out the video on the notification as well as on the video subtraction, which is uh, coming up next. And Thank you for watching. If you have any idea or questions, 
feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.